guys, welcome back to Virgil Biking. So, recently, Jonathan and I posted videos about how to find and buy a decent entry level mountain bike or road bike. And those videos are all well and good, but they revealed that good bikes that are worth your time and will help you in your quest to become a better cyclist are quite expensive, especially to people who maybe haven't spend that much money on a bike or aren't used to spending that kind of money. So today I'm going to move a little bit away from our biking aspect of the channel and I'm going to show you guys a few ideas I have about how to raise money as a kid or a teenager so that you can afford a good mountain bike or a good road bike that's going to help you progress and become better. So these ideas are totally serious, totally legit. I have used every single one of them. And I hope they help. So put away your Walmart gift cards, because this is pro mode. This one's kind of obvious, but ask your parents. Your parents should be interested and involved with anything that you're doing to raise money. So explain to them why you want the specific bike that you want, and present them a plan on how you are going to raise the money. And then ask them if they'd be able to help you out. For example, my parents helped by paying the sales tax. Even if your parents aren't even help or help you in the way that you wanted them to help, they might be able to help you with their knowledge because maybe when they were a kid they needed to make some money of their own. So ask them if they have any ideas that can help you make money even if they aren't able to contribute the way you wish they would. Anyway, I have a lot of other ideas so stay tuned. The next idea being entrepreneurship. Make your own business. Wash cars. Now, with any business you might open, there are some minor expenses. If you want to wash cars, I would suggest first talking to your friends, family, and neighbors and seeing if they would be interested. If they are, you would head to Home Depot, the dollar store, or any auto parts store near you. Get a hose, two buckets, car soap, and a microfiber washman. Now, all this can cost between $10 to $20, but you might already have some of this stuff lying around. So, you never know, it might cost less. Then, look up how to wash cars and start. You can spread the word with flyers, social media posts, or calls to friends and family. Don't meet up alone with any stranger, and don't give your address out to strangers. Be careful out there. Now, for washing someone's car, I would suggest charging about $10. Another few ideas going along with entrepreneurship are walking dogs, picking up dog poop for people in their backyards, or even babysitting. I've done all three of these and they work great. I walked my neighbor's dog for about three months, once a week, and I made $120, charging $10 a week. And then I used the same price and picked up my other neighbor's dog poop in his backyard for a few months. The babysitting is a little more tricky because you have to be more responsible and accountable. So I would suggest only starting with family and friends and then maybe expanding from there once you get comfortable. I would think about charging $5 to $10 an hour for babysitting. Now for each of these you can think bigger or smaller and you can modify your prices to what people will pay you in your area or the circumstances, whether you're walking multiple dogs or one dog or you're babysitting one kid for an hour or five kids for an entire afternoon. So just experiment and see which is the best for you. Remember, when you're dealing with clients, be respectful and ask about any of their concerns so that you can give them the best possible service. Another idea is do chores. When I wasn't old enough to babysit, or I didn't have $20 to start a car washing business, I did chores. I would blow dishes, take out the trash, clean different rooms of the house, you know, basic chore stuff. And then I got paid for it. And pretty well, I got paid about $5 a week. This idea might not work for everyone, because every family is different, but I made $5 a week doing my chores. And I'm sure if you even more and talk to your parents, you could make $10 a week. Again, this all relies on your confidence and how much your parents decide how much your work is worth. The final idea is to just go out and get a job. 
most jobs only apply for 16 year olds or older. But sometimes, and some places might hire 15 year olds or even 14 year olds. So look around your local area and some, some job ideas that you could look for could be grocery bagger at a grocery store, fast food or a retail employee, and I even know that some places like Sky Zone hire 15 year olds. So look around your local area, check your newspaper, and check your local laws to see what jobs you are eligible to apply for. And find out if there's any ideas, ideas that would suit you. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope this helps you and I'm going to leave some, a few links in the description to some entry level road bikes and mountain bikes so that you can have a set target amount of money to raise. Now if you have any other ideas that you use to make money as a kid or as a teenager put them in the comment section below. Remember to share, like, and subscribe and I'll see you later. Thanks for watching.